What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Unite. In today's video, we're hopping onto the rank ladder in my highest rank I've been at so far, which is Ultra Ball tier. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across the channel. So yeah, I recently just hit Ultra Ball tier in one of my most recent streams. So if you guys want to catch my streams and watch me push Master Ball tier, head down the link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. We're streaming five plus days every single week over there. Come hang out, come say hi, and watch my live streams. They're tons of fun, and I love talking to you guys in there as well. But yeah, like I said, we hit Ultra Ball tier finally, which was a big little step, but we can definitely hit master ball tier we're sitting at ultra class 2 and this is the highest i have been at it legit has been the highest i've been at i've been going on like a losing streak winning streak but i've been playing really really well as recently went on a hot streak and now we're sitting here but let's hop on to some battles let's get after it i just want to showcase some ultra ball tier gameplay because usually the battles are a little bit better over here so it's awesome it's tons of fun to actually get in here and especially get in with teams that like know how to play because there's nothing worse than hopping into a battle and your teammates have no idea how to play it's like yo how'd you make it up this far but I can play a few different characters. I've been playing uh, Greninja, Blissey, and uh, Cinderace really on the rank ladder for the most part. So I'm going to be actually rocking out with my main right here, which is Greninja. I'm going to be rocking out with him. I might go jungle. I think I'm going to set the path to jungle because I really like playing jungle with Greninja considering I control the pace. I know how to play the jungle really, really well. So I'm going to go central area and see if they'll allow me to. So hopefully we get that. But guys, let me know for question of the day before we hop into our first battle for today's video. And that is, will you be getting Blastoise on the day it releases? Considering September 1st is his release date. And that is right around the corner from when this video goes uploaded. So definitely let me know in the comment section down below. Will you guys be picking them up? As you guys saw in the beginning, I had 14,000 coins. I'm so ready for him. I'm so ready to rock out. And the big part about him is, is I believe he's a special attacker. And I've really only been playing physical attackers. So I've been saving my... Uh, Item enhancers for when Blastoise comes out so I can level up some special attacking items. And with that said, with the items that I level up for special attacking, it will allow me to play more special attackers. Because that's one of the reasons I haven't really been playing special attackers. I've only been playing Blissey, Cinerace, and Grand Ninja considering I'm free to play right now. I haven't put any money into this game, so I've just been leveling up physical attacking items. So I've been rocking out with the physical attackers and the Pokemon that use those items, such as Grand Ninja, Cinerace, and Blissey. So when I start leveling up and get more items and uh, more item enhancers, then I can start having a well-rounded group of items, making me use a well-rounded group of Pokemon. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does, but their team's looking pretty solid as well. I'm rocking that jungle. We got Blissey in that bot lane alongside with Charizard and Incineration and Crustle on top. I'm really digging this team. I'm really digging this team, so I'm going to try to control the jungle, get after it. Hopefully nobody touches my jungle enemies because I kind of get, like, I have, like, a system. Oh, I grabbed the wrong move, man. I grabbed the wrong move already, but it's fine. It's fine. We're going to use our eject button right here. If you guys are junglers, yo, make sure you use that eject button. It buys you a little bit of time here, which is awesome. And we're going to do that. And we're just going to keep getting after this little pup. Come on, I need my level 2. And there we go, got level 2. Now I can start sending my bubble, which is awesome. And that's what the move that you normally want to get first uh, when you first uh, hop into a battle. Because you, it'll allow you to farm up so much quicker. Let's keep getting after these guys. But I have a little system going on here. I take out the Booflint and the Ludicolo and then the two core fishes up top. Oh, of course I missed that. That's so whack. That is so whack. Get over here, boy. But once I take out these two... I can go over here and take out these core fishes. And by the time I take out both these core fishes, I will be level 5. I'll have Frogadier. I'll have Double Team Rolling or Smoke Screen, whichever I choose. I've been choosing uh, Double Team as of recently. I've been really liking it and enjoying it. Considering the cooldown is much quicker. So I've really been liking that. So there's this Double Team. And then I head into the top lane or bottom lane, whichever one I want to. I've usually been heading into the top lane and waiting for the bees to spawn, which is awesome. Bees spawn at 850. So I wait for them because if our team can get control of that, it'll be awesome and huge for us. Let's see if I can actually hop up here. Here's me. Let's hit him with that bubble. Let's just get him back a little bit. I'm going to dip here and actually start taking out these bees here. Just send my double team just to send some distractions. Help out with the bees right here. Get all the XP for squad. And then I'm going to dip out here and go towards these core fish. Considering the core fish spawn like right after that. So I can get these and start farming up XP. But yo, that wiggly tough just got a KO on our bot lane, man. Get out my face. But then the next, really the next thing I wait for is, uh, is going to be Dreadnought, which spawns at seven minutes so once that happens i kind of just try to be ready for that but i, I really try to be a grand ninja by that time because grand ninja is so strong especially with water striking it is legit his best move i think it's way better than surf a lot of people have been asking me like oh jeans what do you like better surf or uh water striking i always been a water striking guy and now that it's buffed i think it's even better it hits harder it gives you more hp back the cooldown is insane so it's just awesome all around let's take out you and then we'll head over to this bufalant here or not the bufalant the ludicolo and then we'll get the bufalant We'll head up on this and keep teeing off here. Come here, boy. Come here. What you want, fool? Get him out of here. We don't need him here. 
See if we can finish him off there. There it is. And now we have Water Shrek and ready to roll. Look at that. We get HP back and we are just farming up a storm. So we're doing pretty good here. I would like to cash in my Pokeballs, which would be nice. But Dreadnought is going to spawn very, very soon. So I'm just going to head over here. And maybe we'll try to cash in here with a little sneak attack. So I'm going to hop to that mid lane and come in for a flank. We're coming in for a flank, baby. Let's go. We have our Water Shrek and ready to roll. Let's see if I can actually do some dirty work here. Step up here. Eject button up. And just keep teeing off on these guys. Get him out of here. There's one. There's one beautiful kill. We got the bees rocking here. Let's take out the bees. And we got Dreadnought spawning in 14. So that was huge for me. I would love to cash out here, but I don't think I can. I'm just teeing off here. Let's see if I can actually kill, kill you from here. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Someone kill him. Someone kill him. Get him out of here. There's a beautiful kill. I'm going to try to score my points. Hopefully, he can actually distract for now. He cannot. It's fine. I'm going to get some HP back. And he's actually going to go down. Which is totally fine. I'm just going to dip here. Dreadnought did spawn, but I'm going to get some HP back a little bit here. And we are rolling pretty strong. And our top wind's getting ran, which is rough news. I'll take out this uh this Pokemon right here for now. If I can actually get a sneak attack on this thing right here. Hit that up, and I'm going to actually dip back here. And just keep teeing off. Just keep teeing off from there. And there's Gren their Greninja, which is a pretty decent level here. I do have my Unite move ready to rock, which I'm going to hop on right here. Built, take you out, and come up here. Dip up here with a double team, which is awesome all around. And we are thriving. We are thriving here. Can I take you out? There's a KO for you. And wherever that Greninja at, we, just, we have to get after him. And did they get Drenol? They got Drenol real quick. That is rough. That is rough news, man. That is rough news. I didn't even know they got him. I can eject button out here. And I need some more HP. I'm going to die here. Yep, I'm dead. Dang, dude. I'm buzzing for my team. And my team ain't even backing me up. I got like two KOs there. I was rolling strong. And they couldn't even back me up. But it's all good. I died. My jungle enemy spawned. I'm just going to go get some more points there. And we're just going to focus on this battle. But, yeah, we play, like, I'm playing really good, man. Kind of upset on that one. Kind of upset. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to rock out the rear. Let's roll here. They got our bot lane down. Well, our first uh, base. And I really need to get some Pokeballs in you. What are you taking my things for? Leave me alone, man. This is my, this is my lane. You got your all Dinos down that bot lane. You go take them. I'm going to go get up here. And I'm going to go try to take out, uh... I'm going to go try to take out some of these mid guys. Or, yeah, they got a three. Oh, they got a whole squad up there. Show them, my boys. Show them, my boys. I throw that. Even though I totally missed, it's all good. It is all good. We'll take you out, and we'll get my levels up a little bit. They know I'm the strong guy here. They know I'm, I'm boosted. I'm not really boosted. They got, like, same levels as me. But, yo, they are coming in on us. They're coming in hot. They're coming in super hot. Can I take out somebody? There's somebody. Uh, they got a little nine tails using some moves, and there's this... I'm a champ here. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, we dip back here. I might need a jack button. Now uh, we can. We might be able to get him there. That is super close. Get him out the way. Where are you at, Nine Tails? Dip up there and can I hit him with them? Oh my God, yo, we just missed that. Oh, we might have him here. Get him out of here. That, that should get him. There we go. Double kill from me there. We are buzzing, yo. I'm playing super well. Now can I score these points? And of course I'm gonna go to sleep here. Can I dip back a little bit. Can I dip back a little bit? E. Give me my HP back. So we get some HP back, and we're doing, like, I'm doing fine. I can't score, I haven't scored any Pokeballs. I'm going to try to go to this top and get this. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to try to go get this Dreadnought. Because Dreadnought is very important. But I do need some HP. Sweet, there's some combis and stuff. So HP coming out from here. Let's keep teeing off on these guys, and then we'll go get them. Right, let's go, squad. Let's go, squad. Let's go get after this Dreadnought. Let's go get after this Dreadnought. We have all these. We have our ult ready to go. And he actually ulted on the mace, so I'm going to ult into here. Bang, do some work, and keep throwing all this stuff over here. Get after it this way. Can we take out you? Yep, you're dead. Let's take out you, and I'll send a double team over here. Distract the whole team. And I might go to sleep here. I'm dead. I'm dead, man. I'm doing me damage over here. They're just outnumbering us, and our guys are underleveled. Like, yo, look at my level compared to everybody else. 12, 9, 10, 9, and 8. Compared to 10, 12, 11, 11, and 10. Dude, I'm playing so good. I'm playing so good right now. It's just my team, man. Like, a big thing about this game is farming wild enemies. Like, if you're not farming wild enemies, you are going to lose this game. Hands down. So, like, you should really focus on wild enemies more so than kills. That's why you see me always in this jungle when I'm playing jungle. And just farm up all these enemies and get into higher levels. It's just the best thing to do. It's how you get stronger. It's the only way. Killing regular people does not do anything. It does not benefit you at all. We're able to do that. I'm just going to keep rolling out here. And, of course, that did not do anything there. But we're totally chilling here. I really want to score some points, man. 
I'm just gonna actually let me to pack and kill this core fish. Core fish, die. Thank you very much. And of course, there's that guy. I'm gonna have to dip back here and go get him. See if I can actually pinch him up. We got some bees right here. If I can actually take this guy out. I should have him, no problem. Get him out of my face. We don't want him here. So there's a KO there. He's just chilling under our tower for no reason. And we're just gonna rip up on these guys. Because I'm almost level 14, and I should be able to just go sneak up here and grab some points. That's gonna be my play. A lot of people are in the top lane. So I should be fine here just going up here and scoring 50 points. Getting XP, taking out this tower, and rolling out from there. Charizard, okay, Charizard can actually score his points. That's totally fine. But there we go. Boom. Points on the board. And I am almost next level. And here comes my champ. And yeah, let me uh, do a double team for you. Maybe I can uh, disperse these enemies for you. But I really can't help them too much. They're just rolling in hot on me. And do I have another double team? I will have one in a second. And I dip. No eject button. Yeah, get out of my face. Get out of my face. We don't need you here. You want the smoke, man? Get him out of here. You're dead. You're dead, baby. Get, get, get gone. Get gone. So I'm level 14. Zapdos did just spawn, so we have to actually go up there. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. Is there a crawl on here? Yes, there is. I'm going to rip him up a little bit. Get some XP. And more importantly, get the HP. But now I'm chilling right here. So this is our last chance to win this game. We have to actually take out this Zapdos. Oh, my lord. Oh, my god. My dip did not work out there. My dip did not work. Which is whack. Here comes Greninja. I see you. He's trying to ult in on me. And I'm going to ult in all the way across here. Built doing some damage. And I'm going to dip this way. Send a double team. And we're just going to keep rolling. Pussy, if you got your ult, send it over to me. Let me take out these guys here. Need a little bit of help here. Need some HP. Helping hand. Do something. Do something, boys. What we got now? We're just getting outnumbered here. This is a rough battle for my teammates. Let me see the levels real quick. Bro, dude, my team is so under level. It's ridiculous. Like, look at, look at what I'm doing here. Look at what I'm doing here. We definitely lost this one. Now we can definitely forfeit this one. This is whack. This is so whack. Like, I'm playing ultra to master ball tier gameplay, but I'm just getting stuck with some whack teammates. But this is basically how this uh, solo queuing goes. This is a great example of it. A great example of a uh, solo queuing. Yo, know, I'm sitting here, like, carrying the team, doing as best as I can, and getting nothing in return for it. But it's one's, this one's 100% over. I'm going to go try to score some points here. I'm definitely going to go try to score some points here. After I take out the... Actually, you guys can take out Cinderies. I'm going to go try to score some points. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'll do everything by myself. Can I score some points? I haven't, uh, actually, I did score some points already. I scored a nice little 50 bomb, but we'll see if we can get any points here. Let's make it a little bit closer. We have 14, <laughs> but that actually turned into 28. Totally fine. Oh, you son of a biscuit, man. Get out of my face. Get up here. You ain't killing me. You ain't killing me. You ain't killing me. Get out of my face, dog. Get out of my face, yo. I ain't dealing with it. 212, and we end up losing to 529, which is pretty... Pretty stinky, man. Pretty stinky. Our last hope was Zapdos there, but look at this. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Look at how good I played. Just to lose. I did best in the lobby. I had most kills in the lobby. My team had two kills combined besides me. I went 11 kills. Cinderace, who was a range attacker, had zero kills. Blissey had zero kills, which is which is understandable, but only two assists. Charizard had one kill. Crustle ended up sneaking in a kill, and it was probably like... I know it wasn't because of me. I was going to say it was probably because I was dealing some mad damage. But no, I had 11 kills dominate this battle, but ended up getting dominated on the other side because our team was awful. But yo, that was our first Ultra Ball tier battle for today. We're going to hop into our second battle and look for a win. So, ladies and gentlemen, we had ourselves a rough first battle. Well, my team all around had a rough first battle. I played super, super well, but that just shows this game to its fullest potential. It's really, really annoying sometimes with solo queuing because of that reason. You'll play really, really well, but you'll get some teammates that don't really know how to play the game, and you'll get ripped up just like that. But our team sitting here, they have, uh, they have a low 9,000 in the top alongside with Gardevoir, and then we have... Garchomp in the bot lane, so I think I gotta play a bot lane, which is gonna be Blissey, yo. I love me some Blissey, dude. Blissey action is amazing. I think she is a great support mod, one of the best in the games. So I'm gonna be rocking out with her. I've really been, uh, this is how I've really been playing, uh, online. I've been really trying to get Greninja because he's my main, but if other people are taking top lane and central area, I'll switch to Blissey and play that bottom lane. So I'm very versatile with the bottom lane, the jungler, and the top lane. I can really play all positions. But we'll rock out with Blissey in this one. Look for a win in battle number two here. The first one, I consider a win for myself. That's it. But, hey, we didn't catch the win, so my rank went down just a little bit. Just dropped a little diamond rank, but it's all good. Actually, I didn't even drop anything. It's just my performance bonus went down because I was at the bottom of the class. But it's all good. We're rocking out here. Their team's looking decent. They have two junglers with Talonflame and Gengar. So one of their uh, Pokemon is going to be out of position, which is totally fine. 
we have a decent top laner with uh, Butterbore and Ninetales. And then our jungler is a roar, absolute beast. Hopefully he does his work and gets Hanford that way. And then we got Mia support and Garchomp, who is really, really good. And not just any Garchomp, it's snorkeling Garchomp. He's looking amazing. But yo, dude, I'm upset with that last match. We dropped 11 kills and our team combined dropped two. And we lost, y'all. I was playing so good. Let's carry this one over. Let's use my Blissey, show that one off, because I really, really love this Pokemon. Let's get rocking with this Gibble, man. Let's get rocking with this Gibble. I was wondering what that Gardevoir was doing. She started heading to that bot lane. I was like, yo, what are you doing? You call the top lane, and you're going to go to the bot lane? Then get out of my face. Get out of my face. Let's keep ripping up on these guys, and we'll off from here. We're going to roll over to these A-Poms, and then what we got to do for, as a bot lane is come right over here. Once we make our way over here, I can actually do this and just slap up on them. And keep going this way. Oh, yeah, we can keep hitting up on these guys. Can I heal you up? Let me heal you up. Yo, what are you doing that close to tower, buddy? You're going to die. You were going to die. Oh, luckily, you have a check button. That works out fine. That works out fine. Let's grab ourselves our enemies over here. And then roll from there. I'll heal you up. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll heal you up. Yo, you trying to get after us? There we go. Yo, get out of my face. Yo, we got softball ready to rock. Get out of here. I'll heal you up in a second, sweetheart. Heal you up in a second, sweetheart. Nine seconds that Corphish is going to spawn. I'll give him a little bit of health here. Hopefully he goes back to base and does his HP from there. And I'm going to just wait for this Corphish right here. Just get a little bit more levels here. Just a little bit more levels. If Gibble comes over here, he can have it, but he's not. He's probably just going to try to hide in the bush or something like that. I'm just going to chill here, and then the bees will spawn. And hopefully that's where we'll be down here for the bees. That'll be great for us and all around amazing. I do have soft wood. I can keep my team alive for a little bit, and the bees are here. That's right. Let's rip them up. Let's rip them up. Oh, yo, we dominating the bees, baby. We dominating the bees here. Are these fools out of our game. Get these fools out of here. Let's take you out. Oh my god, you almost had him. Oh, I got him there. Let's see if I can score 25 points. While he's scoring, we'll score. We'll take our XP. We'll take our points, and then we'll come back here and try to get a KO here. Let me heal you up, buddy. Now you're fine. We're fine with that one. Let's just go take this Aldino. We should be thriving here. We should be thriving. I'm actually almost level 6, which means I get Helping Hand very, very soon, which is awesome all around. Let's heal up. There you go, boy. There you go, buddy. Let's go take out this Aldino. I need my Helping Hand. Which will be amazing. And we're doing decent in the spot lane. Hopefully that top lane is thriving just as well. And we can do fine here. There's my helping hand, which is amazing. One game I actually grabbed uh, what's called on accident, Egg Bomb. It is not even close to being as good as helping hand. Helping hand is just so good all around. In all instances. Just a, just an amazing move all around. He's going to go take that core fish at mid. I'm just going to chill here. I'm going to chill here. I am actually just going to take this core fish back here. Hopefully they don't push up. Or hopefully give will be back in time. I'm just going to pop a helping hand so I get some more damage off quickly. They came out no problem, and then be back under my tower like that. Love to see it. And why is that flush chinder just chilling in jungle? Hopefully these guys push up on me. Zorora ends up picking up that KO there, which is huge. I'm actually just going to pop a helping hand here, which is totally fine. And they're just going to score some points on me. Like, no problem. Where's my teammates at? Where's my Gibble at? I could use this, which is exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to helping hand the squad. I'm going to try to get back under tower real quick. And here's my team. Get some HP, and let's rip it. Let's rip it. Let's get rid of these bees, actually. Bees will be huge for us. Helping hand up on the bees. Slap up on them. Beautiful. And Dreadnought is about to spawn, which could be big for us. Anybody need some health? There's some health for you, boys. Take out you. And let's roll. Dude, Dreadnought is about to spawn, so I'd love to get after this guy. Love to get after Dreadnought. Hopefully, our Gibble don't go down here. Hey, yo, chill on me, Snorlax. Chill on me. We don't need you here. We don't want you here. Oh, you come. Come on, man. You really going to take the KO from me? And what's going on here? He's teeing off here. I'm just going to heal him up here. Let's see if I can get rid of this Dreadnought. I would really like to get rid of this Dreadnought. Come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Heal up all day, baby. Let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you. And now I'm a helping hand. I'm going to rush this Snorlax over here. Oh, actually, I'm going to rush you, yo. Get away from my teammates, bro. You want the smoke? You want the smoke, buddy? Get him out of here. Get that fool out of my game. We don't want him there. We don't want him here. Let's see if I can help a hand and just start teeing off on this guy. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Let me score my points. Let me see if I can help a hand again. Here's some health, boys. Here's some health. Here's some help in hand, yo. Dude, best support in the game, hands down. Good old Blissey, man. You ain't beating Blissey, man. He's actually going to score his points. That's totally fine. I don't score my points at all. That's that's cool. I'm cool with it, yo. Great sequence for us. I was able to actually sneak that Dreadnought for us, which was big. They actually started uh, pulling in and doing big damage on the Dreadnought. I was like, nah, yo. Like, nah, that ain't happening. That ain't happening. Walked up there, helping hand, slapped up a little bit, and got a huge Dreadnought kill. The first Dreadnought is always big. Yo, what's up with this uh, Fletch Chinder? Or just their, their talent flame. Just walking up on our enemies. I think the bees just spawned in uh, our lane. So I'm going to go run over there and kill them. Get after it. Let's get after it. Yep, there they are. I'm going to pop my helping hand. Get some more damage going. My base attacks get boosted. And we we're able to just slap up on all these bees. Yo, dude. Blissey's just so good support. You guys just saw it. I was teeing off. Giving my team speed boost all around. And we were just healing up. They are dominating that top lane. So I might actually go roll down. Go score my points after this. 
Let's do that. Let's do that. I'm just going to roll, roll down there and see if I can score my points. She can go score her points. I'll score 40. I'll score 40, which would be great. I'll do a quick trade. I'm with that all day. Hopefully that Talon Flame doesn't hop on me in time. I think I should be good. I think I should be good. Yes, sir. Bill. Score them points. We got help in hand plus. We're ready to roll. And I'm going to take their core fish. Actually, is that, is that Wigglytuff coming this way? I'm here, Wigglytuff. I'm here, Wigglytuff. I'm here, Wigglytuff. Give me that help in hand. Oh, uh, yo, you just going to dip on me like that? Bro, are you kidding me? You just going to dip on me like that? I'm going to need to pop his help in hand and run a, way a bit quicker. And here's the roar, man. Let's heal him up. I'm going to ult here. Can I ult? There's a nice little ult there. He ult it. I ult it. We're popping. Give me some HP here. Do I have help in hand ready? Almost. Get this thing out of here. Let's see if I can actually catch up to this thing. Come here. Come here. Let me tell you something. You lucky. You are so lucky you had a little boost. You are so lucky, yo. <laughs> I had to pop my ult there. It's all good. I'll pop it all day. Hey, yo. And we got Dreadnought. And we got Dreadnought, which is big. I'll take out this Dreadnought. And then there's a little team battle going on down there. So I'm going to loop around and go after it. I'm going to loop around and get after this. Here's a little bit of helping hand for squad. You guys can get speed boost. And we rip it now. Let's go score our points and just take out this base. Roar has 37. You have 29. And Town Flame's showing here. And you guys can help a hand defend me out while we take out the space. Bill, see you later, base. I actually did not score my points again. And yo, Town Flame's showing us. Let me heal up the squad. There you go. You want some of this? You want some of this, baby? And I'm the last one left. I'm dead. <laughs> they all just ganged up on us. But yo, it's all good. It is all good. Top lane is actually doing some work over there. Scoring some points. Good work. Good work. We rolling here. We rolling here in our second Ultra Ball battle. Ultra tier, I should say. I say Ultra Ball because I'm thinking of uh, Sword and Shield. So I used to play in that game, man. That's a good game. We got Soft Boil Plus, which is great all around. And I think I'm just going to steal Slewy Cole if he's not going to touch him. I'll take the XP all day. Look at him. He's just up there doing his work. Getting some points. All that good stuff. I'm just teeing off on Ludicolo. And there's a double kill for him. Our team's rolling strong. But, you know, yo, dude. Main part of this game is collecting wild enemies. I don't care how dominating you guys are doing. Always collecting wild enemies. Unless you're level 15. But, yo, collecting wild enemies is where it's at. It'll keep you ahead of the game. It'll keep you leveled up. And it, and it will also make them not get levels. If you're taking all the wild enemies, it'll just keep you in the lead. So, that's how I like to play. That's how I've been playing ever since... Uh, I was in like veteran rank and I was kind of stuck in there a little bit. So I changed how I was playing. I was playing like this. I was playing like hey, wild enemies is where it's at. So been playing like that and I've been ranking up super, super quick. So it's been a lot of fun for me. This guy's level 11. That's totally fine. I'll, I'll let him get points. He, he can't have that many points, you know. Like how much is he really going to score? He has 40, but Zora is back there. That's totally fine. Zora should be there in time. Be able to bop him up there. And I think he should just be able to take it out one on one. Now since I have all these Pokeballs, maybe I can crash down this mid. Actually, I'm going to go pinch off this guy. It's off you. Oh, no. That's not the way to go. Let's eject back. Then I'll did appear. They got a nice little team here. I think I used my eject button. We're going to get some HP. And my boy Garchomp is here. I got my ult ready. I'm going to ult into him. Let's fight, man. Let's do it. Here's a little helping hand, too. Get him. Get him. Get him. Someone turn around. Actually, that's fine. Let's go get Dreadnought, dude. Let's go get Dready. Oh, actually, Zap to spawn. That's totally fine. I kind of wasted my ult there. I, I wish we would have fought. I would rather have it for this position, but I think we're totally fine. I'm going to check out the levels here. And we are pretty much out leveling them all day. So for now, I'm just going to do this. And I'm just going to actually start teeing off on this after this. Oh, let me heal you up. Come here. Come here. Come here, sweet cheeks. Well, you need some HP. I know that for a fact. I'll heal you up fully. There you go. There's some lovely HP for you. And here's a helping hand. Let's tee off on this. And let's see if we can actually get this. We should just be able to take it out right here. Get it out of here. That's huge for us. Heal up the squad. And I have another helping hand for everybody here. Everybody get their speed movements up. That's GG's. That is going to be GG's. Get these dudes out of her game. Get these dudes out of her game. And she should have 50, right? They should be able to break that tower, no problem. So I'm just going to head to this mid one. And actually, I'm in a low flux zone, which kind of stinks. I'm going to dip up here and score my points now. <laughs> and I'm going to dip out of here. Hey, yo, I'm out of here. I'm out of here, man. You can't kill me. You can't kill me. I'm too bulky for you. Too bulky for you. What you want, fool? What you want? You want to play games with me? I'm too good. I'm too strong for you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Give me my helping hand. Give me my helping hand. Get this thing out of here. Get this thing out of here. I'll heal everybody up. Yo, we chilling. We chilling here. Get these fools out of our game. Oh, I want this Gengar personally. Come here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get him out of here. Wasn't able to score my points, but you know what? You want to play with us? I'll help you hand and we'll tee off on you. We'll tee off on you. No problem. Anyone need health? I need some health. There you go. Take some health. Let me score these points. Bill. 
Heal up the team again. <laughs> Helping hand. Kill this thing. Get it out of her game. Oh no, they're all after us. Oh, 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 jeans. <laughs> Heal up. Heal up. Helping hand. Take them all out. Yo, if we take these guys out, that would have been nuts. That would have been nuts, but we were surviving way too long. I ult it, use helping hand. Sorry, uh, using my soft boiled. I love this move set on the Blissey. It is so strong all around. Helps the team out, supports it really, really strong, and gives health all around as well. It's just beast. But 679 to 251 dominated our second battle. Went one and one in his Ultra Ball tier, but played both battles really, really well. So I'm glad I got to show off both videos and my Grand Ninja and Blissey main in these two battles. Hopefully you guys enjoyed both the battles that we brought to you guys in today's video. We were in Ultra Ball tier. Hopefully in the next Pokemon Unite video, we will be showcasing my mains and all that good stuff in the Master Ball tier. Considering we are so close and I've been live streaming this game, like I said, if you want to catch my live streams, head down to the link in the description below. It's down there. Jeans25 on Twitch. But yeah, we should be Master Ball tier by the next Pokemon Unite video. Unless... I get Blastoise Day 1, which I probably will. We might not be Master Ball tier by then, but hopefully we will be. But I'm planning on getting Blastoise Day 1, showcasing them, showcasing the best builds. So be ready for that video. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.